Hey everybody, Sean McInnes here alongside Wim from Crytek. And Wim, uh, you're going to show us a little bit of Warface on the yes. Xbox 360, right? Yes, I am. Um, we're going to just go ahead and jump right into a mission. Um, I'm just going to select my class here. I'll, I'll be a, a medic. And then uh, we'll, we'll start, we'll get going. Cool. I like your style. You don't mess around. No introductions, none of that stuff. We're just going straight into a live match. Well, you know, a uh, picture says more than a thousand <laughs> words, so I can only imagine how many words a video game can describe. So, so uh, yeah, let's, let's just get to it. And as we play, I'll explain a little bit what Warface is and what we're trying to do and yeah. um, so, so forth and so on. So uh, Warface, uh, just as a, a brief and quick introduction, Warface is uh, the first first-person uh, shooter that is free to play that is coming to Xbox Live. Um, so anybody that has an Xbox Live Gold account can uh, log on to Xbox Live, download this game and play it. Um, once it's out, it's currently in closed beta, so it's not open for everybody yet. But once it's out, anybody can just uh, join in and, 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 uh, uh, and play this game without having to pay anything for it. Um, the idea of the game is that it's easy to get into, um, it's difficult to master, um, and one of the things that we really want to focus on is, uh, is team play. So you can see I have my team of two other guys here. Um, they're, um, you can play with up to, uh, with up to uh, uh, five, uh, well, you can play in teams of five people. So I, we could get two more guys in there, but just uh, to get going quickly, we just start with my two friends here. So as I was saying, you can sort of, you're playing this game uh, as a team. And so every team member has their own special ability that they can um, that they can use to uh, to make the team stronger. So you don't have a nano suit like you have in Crisis, but you have your teammates, and the teammates are really what you know what sets this apart. You can be a good first-person shooter uh, player, but if you don't have a good team to back you up, you you won't get far uh, in this game. You need a medic to help you uh, heal and revive. You need um, you know you need a sniper to to cover um, the long distance. You need um, and you need your riflemen to restore ammo and so forth and so on. So it's really important that you you stick together as a team. Every class has got their own special uh, weapon type. So the medic is a close combat specialist and has a uh, shotgun, uh, or has shotguns to choose from. Um, my two teammates are both um, riflemen. Outside of the riflemen and the medics, there are also the, the engineer who has a submachine gun. Yeah. Um, so that's, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's uh, you know, uh, more range than the medic, but not as much as the rifleman. Um, and their special ability is the ability to plant claymore mines and also the ability to um, restore armor points. So you can see that next to my ammo counter, I have uh, two bars. One of them is empty right now, so that's, uh, that's a problem. But uh, the, the one on the top is your armor points and the one on the bottom is your health points. Um, you die when you are out of health points, but if you have armor points, most of your damage will go from your armor points and not from your health points. So it's important that you try to keep both of them stocked up. So you've seen that I've used some of these, these uh, when I die, you can use these coins. They're basically a last ditch uh, opportunity to revive yourself if, if either you are the medic and there are no other medics in the team, or if your medic has died. Um, these coins, you don't have that, you generally don't have that many of them, so you have to be careful with them. But yeah, you, you get them by, like, you receive one of them every day you play the game. Um, and uh, but you could also buy one in the shop if you want to. It's uh, yeah, we're just really excited about it. Um, it's it's a really interesting game to be working on. Um, you know, we just you know just making sure that it's fun and fair. Uh, but and then sort of the prospect of making it really uh, you know to continue developing it in the future is really something that not just as a gamer but as a developer really right. really excites the team. You know, like because because you can just really. Um, it's it's really interesting because you don't you don't know exactly what's going to come in the game next because it all depends on how the community reacts to it and how people are playing it. So so that's really uh, that's really exciting and, and we're all really thrilled to see what's going to happen once once this uh, once more people get their hands on this. Cool. Yeah. And speaking of which, you guys are in closed beta right now. What yes. are your release plans in terms of um, opening it up for everybody? We're, we're so so we're just tweaking and seeing how things are working and and what doesn't work and so far and so on. Um, we're looking at a spring release for uh, for Warface, so so Warface will go live for everybody in spring of 2014. Cool. Thank you very much. You're welcome.